Ah, Samoa, you beautiful thing. A tropical Isle of Wonderland, crystal blue waters, deep green forests, towering and not so towering waterfalls, and cocktails. Don't forget the cocktails. Samoa is an island we nearly didn't make it to. After arriving at Brisbane Airport earlier than any human needs to arrive at an airport, reminding ourselves that duty-free booze is awesome and so are international business lounges, we found ourselves running for the flight when hearing our names called across the PA. Catherine Izzard and Sherry I, you are the last passengers to board your flight. Please proceed to the gate, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sh... <laughs> now, this may or may not have been caused by the breakfast single malts and cocktails. On board the five-hour flight, more whiskey, champagne and gin and tonics were consumed. You can see where this trip is heading, right? On arrival, we went through the fastest customs, border control and bag pickup in history. LAX, you could get a few tips from these smiling Samoans. After travelling for about 20 minutes looking at the greenest, furriest dash mat of all times, we arrived at the Sheraton Beach Resort Samoa and were greeted by amazing sunsets, friendly people, more booze and giant crab things, which we later discovered got a whole lot bigger. <laughs> We have decided to go for a little walk. We could walk up a road like normal people, but we thought we'd turn this into a bit of an adventure. And we're taking what is apparently a shortcut. This is just for some soft drink. So number one, we were gonna walk along the beach. Okay, first problem, there's no beach. Tide's coming. Eternity later. Our quest to find soft drink and beer has failed. But we did find a nightclub, which was... It looked like a cage. It's so cool. Well, yeah, it was, you know, it looked like someone's patio. Beats on the back deck, I think it was called, in Samoa. Oh, well. We just have to go back to drinking $8 cans of lemonade. soda. Lemonade. Lemonade, yeah. But it was fun. It was better than sitting in the pool drinking tequila, right? Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, very wrong. The days here were spent blazing around the pool, sampling the cocktail menu in all of its blurry glory. The food was simple but tasty, the service was spot on, and the views, well, they were just breathtaking around every single corner. How's the head, Fred? Mm, been better. Been better? A couple too many cocktails yesterday. A little bit seedy today. Mild headache. But we've just hired a bongo van. And we're off to Apia. 170, was it? Um... 170 taler a day. We don't know whether that's cheap or expensive. It was cheaper than budget. <clears throat> you should see this thing. It's so cool. Japanese rooster. Yeah. Here you are. Okay. So it says English. <laughs> mm. It's your job to find the English. <laughs> so we are on our way to Apia or Apia. Uh, what we've worked out so far is the speed limit on the highway is 56 kilometers an hour or 35 miles. And that's about the only road rule that we've come up with. Uh, They've changed from driving on the right hand to the left hand side about 13 years ago, but probably half the cars are all are left hand drive. We're in a right hand drive, which is cool. There are a lot of churches, like churches everywhere, and um, bottleos, and there's a barber. So, yeah, into the, into the city we go. Let's see how we go. All your lights on. <laughs> Nothing like a good check engine light. <laughs> Absolutely no idea where we're going. We've just been into the centre of town, had a bit of a look. Did see a sign for some cave pools, about 20 k's that way. Where are we? Pi Piola cave pool. Cave pool. Piola cave pool. 
So we're about to journey in. Once we work ahead of you. Through there. there's a tunnel inside the cave and it pops out on the other side now I'm not brave enough to do it but we're gonna go have a look anyway that is apparently the other side you going in yeah no after no. you no I might give it a miss I'm too scared not gonna lie what have we got there rooster milky, milky shake milky shake frozen flavored thingy we don't even know how you eat it. I reckon you just rip the corner and suck it. And suck it. What's it like? Um, holy sh. I'm holy sh. Um, not. Hmm. Oh, really strong strawberry milk, but slushy. I can't eat. Strawberry milk slushy. You're not going to eat it? No. Okay, well, but I'll try it. It reminds me of a medicine I used to have. Mm. I don't know what to do with it now. Yeah, I know. Just got to eat it. I'm not sure of the name of this place, but... It's pretty epic. The camera just doesn't do it justice. It's unreal. We're gonna go in for a swim. How epic is this place, Rusty? It is beautiful. How's the young fella doing flips off the rocks? Baldy! This place is stunning. I'll work out what the name of it is soon. On day four, we jumped into the bongo van and headed to the southern side of Apollo along the appropriately named Main South Coast Road. Whilst this drive is absolutely stunning, you do get a few friendly reminders of its volcanic past and also how friendly the locals are. Just watch out for the mobile bacon supplies. The Le Pupupue National Park Coastal Walk is just off the highway and after about a five minute walk you pop out of the jungle into some of the most amazing views. And whilst we didn't go any further than this, you can walk a further couple of kilometres and you come out at the old lava flows. On the way to our next resort, we discovered another waterfall and stopped in to cool off and have a swim. Now this may or may not have been strategic after one of the locals was clearly upset after I commented on his stature. You're a big fella, aren't you? Hey? Whoa! <laughs> After a day of exploring the southern side of Apollo, we splashed out on an overwater farlay at the Coconuts Beach Resort, and this place did not disappoint. It is genuinely one of the most beautiful places we've seen, let alone stayed at. Well, except for this one, which happened to burn down two days before our arrival. And for what was becoming a tradition, we jumped straight into the pool, swam up to the bar, and sampled their range of fantastic cocktails.
Welcome to the Tasua Ocean Trench. Nestled on the southern coast of Apollo, the Tasua Ocean Trench is a true marvel of nature, being formed thousands of years ago by volcanic activity. And if you survive the country's dodgiest set of stairs, you'll be greeted with crystal clear turquoise waters, lush tropical vegetation and stunning cliffs. All of which is fed by the ocean through underground tunnels, creating a unique blend of fresh and salt water. So it's 20 past 7 on a Friday. Is it Friday? Good Friday. Oh yeah, it's Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. Easter Friday. Easter Friday. And we are sitting on the deck of our farley at Coconuts. It's pretty epic, isn't it? Not too bad. So how's Samoa been, Resty? It's been bloody fabulous. It has oh. been pretty good. People are awesome. It's not touristy at all. It's super just relaxed. There's hardly anyone here. There's no one around. It's pretty cool. Cocktail's been good. Cocktail's been good. The pool's been good. The service has been amazing. What are we going to do today? Stand up paddleboarding? Stand up paddleboard. Have a few more cocktails. Sit around the pool. Sit around the pool. Go for a kayak. Go for a swim. Go for a walk. Just chill out. Just do nothing. Which is um, what they do best here. It's been pretty cool. Can recommend. The giant clam sanctuary is absolutely something else. You dive into the water, swim out about 200 metres and are greeted by this alien world. These giant clams range in size from 5 to 10 centimetres up to over a metre wide. They are unbelievable. I could have easily spent all day out here. This program in the sanctuary has been going on since the 1980s. And there are other places around the island that do the same thing, but I believe this is the only one you can actually snorkel at. Just don't put your feet or your fingers inside one of these things, because you may not come up. No matter where you're staying on the island, this place is definitely worth a visit. So grab some snorkeling gear from the hotel that you're staying at and head on over. It will be absolutely worth your while.
As we headed back to the airport from Coconuts Beach Resort, this beautiful country with its beautiful people gave us a couple of parting gifts. The 120 metre high Papa Papa Aitai Falls and a departing flight that was delayed by three hours. Thanks for joining us on this magical journey. And if you haven't already, we would love it if you could give us a like and our little channel a follow. And until next time, get out there and explore.